Rene, here we are at the very impressive Kildare Village. How is the season performing? Hi, Owen. The season is performing very, very well for us. As you know, it's been a very interesting year for retail out there. Lots of people um, have had a tumultuous um, mm. 2019. In the midst of all that, as Kildare Village, we really come out very strongly as a destination for our guests. Yeah. That is what we stand for and that is what we showcase and where we are at our best. So on top of that, we have also been very fortunate because we've opened a lot of brands this year, new brands. We've opened Sandra, we've opened Marge. We have other brands coming to the village soon, Lint, Chocolates. So, so whereas the high street is struggling somewhat in terms of retail, in fact, we're seeing the opposite here at Kildare Village. Exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. We offer, not only do we offer really good shopping and really good brands but we're, we also offer a really unique experience in the village yeah. so in the middle of all this uh, tumultuous uh, background Kildare Village is doing very very well and that explains why we are actually performing very close to double digits since the beginning of the Fantastic season. and the domestic market is obviously very important for, for you but also the overseas tourism market is particularly important. The overseas tourism market is a key part of our business. And which, which of those overseas markets are important to you? So our number one market is the Chinese long-haul tourist. Mm. But we also represent the brand. Kildare Village is part of 11 villages worldwide. Our brand is called the Bister Village Shopping Collection. With this brand, we cover all continents and all nationalities. So we have a strong appeal to a wide body of long-haul tourism guests. Uh, it's not just the Chinese. We also are very strong with Americans yeah. who come to Ireland for the heritage piece. We're very strong with Australians. We also cater very much to Middle East customers with the visa waiver program, as you know, for the United Arab Emirates. That's worked very well for us. We also work very well with the Russian tourists and all the new flights. So we yeah. cover pretty much all continents, including, of course, European. And, and you're actually active in the marketplace. So you, you have, have, have people and staff and, and resources overseas promoting Kildare Village um, I think, yeah. as, as a destination in its own right. I'm really happy you asked the question because that's really one thing that Bister Village Shopping Collection is very serious about. We actually invest into bringing more tourists into Ireland. First of all, we join every single trade mission that um, the Irish Tourism Board authorities organise. Kildare Village is always a part of them. To so help. every Tourism Ireland sales mission to every China or the States, you to have China, a place States, in it. We have a place in it and we help promote shopping tourism, retail tourism uh, into Ireland. We also do our own sales missions, our own trade missions. We organize with our 11 villages across the world sales missions to all the destination and source markets of our own. And we invest heavily. And actually, third, last but not least, we employ people full time sometimes mm -hmm. on those source markets to go out, talk to all the stakeholders in the market, work sometimes very closely with local Irish authorities such as the consulate or the embassies to bring in tourists, yeah. bring so, in long-haul So travel. You're, you're a key stakeholder within Irish tourism because you're, you're another reason why overseas visitors come to the country. Exactly. Not only are we a reason for them to come to the country, we're also a destination when they are in the country. We, and also we help source and bring more people in the country. So yeah. I think really uh, tourism for us not only is very important but we also uh, want to be um, in associated to all the key stakeholders yeah. as, as one of the major uh, players helping to develop tourism yeah. in Ireland. And how do you measure the success of the tourism expenditure here in Kildare Village? Well, we are retail. We are a shopping destination. So the number one measure for us, of course, is sales. Yeah. We look at sales. We also look very closely at tax-free sales. Yeah. Is that how you differentiate the domestic consumer with um, longer home markets? Precisely. So it's a very precise number that cannot be disputed how much was actually reclaimed in tax free sales by the people who shopped in yeah. Kildare Village. So even despite the pressures that are going on at the moment with Brexit and some of the uh, airline services from China have ceased, despite those sort of external pressures, you still see a very confident future for 
Irish tourism and, and retail tourism? Yeah, the, 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 the overall tourism numbers uh, globally are still on the rise very strongly. There is no such thing as tourism going away or uh, diminishing on a mm. global scale. Yeah. There will be ups and downs due to some local situations and of course Brexit is one of them. But we fundamentally br believe that Brexit uh, can actually turn into an opportunity in the future. Yeah. Uh, and for sure there's room for us to um, uh, really uh, improve our offering and, and uh, attract even more guests even if Brexit is yeah. there in the way. How do you um, encourage dwell time here at Kildare Village, you know, in terms of the services you might provide, the, either the domestic market or the international tourist? Again, we're a destination. So mm. we provide, we're sometimes viewed only simply as a shopping destination. That is not the case. We provide experiences in, yeah. the, in, in the village, ranging from all the services that we have. Um, we have valet parking. We offer hands-free shopping. We have ambassadors who greet our guests, but who also help them in their yeah. experience throughout the village and even with any of the questions they may have relative to shopping. We offer personal shoppers, personal shopping, style classes. Yeah. We have um, possibilities for our more VIP guests with dedicated lounges, dedicated spaces. We offer um, electric chargers yeah. for electric cars. Uh, we even have a kennel. <laughs> so you can come with your dog to Kildare Village yeah. and there is a, a, a kennel, very high standard kennel, which will take care of your dog all throughout your journey. So Great, I, I must remember that. You <laughs> must remember that if you have a dog. But we're also focusing on things like uh, food and beverage. Um, we're part of the Taste of Ireland uh, program. So we do everything as a destination to enhance the experience for the yeah. guests to, to really yeah. uh, w walk away with a high level of service. But that's only part of it. The other part of it is we engage in very um, interesting and high-end uh, activations and uh, experiences which uh, get, relate to guests. We, uh, for example, have a lot of art in the village. Very good. We uh, almost continuously have art exhibitions or uh, sculptures or, or various form, forms of art that, that, that are displayed in the village. But we're actually going to take that to another level. Tell us more. We have uh, engaged in a partnership with IMA, the Irish Mo Museum of Modern Art. Um, as part of the new partnership with IMA, we have a program of initiatives and events that are planned to bring art and fashion to everybody who comes to the village. We will have an IMA pop-up shop. So a retail space with IMA, co-curated by IMA, very interesting also with some experiential elements about modern art to explain modern art, for modern art to be as accessible as possible for everybody. We will have curator talks. IMA has lots of very interesting people who really know how to talk about art, probably much better than I can. And it's very interesting to see them explain the, the art and, and, and so that people can understand it, you know. We're going to have art workshops, we're going to have an exhibition of selected IMA uh, national collection pieces in contemporary art. So the village is really going to be transformed. Full, full, full of life, yeah. Um, René, as, as, as people who are watching this may be able to tell from your, your French accent, albeit your English is faultless, <laughs> um, you're a Frenchman who's come to Ireland uh, relatively recently. What's your views on, on the Irish tourism product and Irish tourism experience? Are you impressed? I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. First of all, I'd like to really thank everybody in Ireland for the hospitality and the welcome. It's unparalleled. I've travelled around the world. I've lived in many countries. And I must say, as a Frenchman, as a human being, uh, the, the, the welcome the, 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 in Ireland is absolutely unique and, and, and really stands that, that's out. That's good to hear because sometimes we're, we're, we get a bit fearful that that's a cliché that we use, that Ireland is welcoming and friendly, but you found it the case. No, I found it's not a cliché because, first of all, it translates into my everyday life, the way I'm greeted and uh, really accepted by people, both in work and in, 
everything that I interact outside work in Ireland. So I can really see concretely in little bits and Great. pieces. That's really good to hear. You've got a really busy agenda here at Kildare Village. Have we missed out anything? Is there anything else kind of exciting in the mix that, that, that we, we should discuss? Well, something I can already sort of uh, pre-announce is we are going to have in Kildare the best ever light show for Christmas ever done in Ireland in any venue. Fantastic. Uh, more to come on that, details to come. It's going to be something absolutely outstanding and smashing. Um, and again, all about experience, all about fun and people coming to the village and having a memorable moment out here. Great. Renee, thank you so much and continue the good work here at Kildare Village. You're very welcome. Thank you, Owen.